Hi, my name is Mark Schippenmuller. I'm the product manager for camera systems at ARRI, and I'm here in Amsterdam at IBC 2018, and I'll tell you a little bit about the Alexa LF, the software update 3.0, and the new viewfinder. The SUP 3.0 supports some new hardware and has some new software features. On the hardware side, we support the new viewfinder, we support SPS Pro Plus cards now, and we support a new battery bag for the Bebop high load batteries. On the software side, we have a new magnify feature, a new zoom feature, and on the monitor, you can immediately see which monitor output on the camera the monitor is connected to. Sure, there are three new monitoring features here that are very useful on the set. The first one is the classic problem when the, the director looks on the monitor and he sees a frame line like this, he says, well, you know, the monitor is this big, but my frame line is so small, I'd like to see a bigger, my, the image I want, I'd like to see this bigger. Well, now you can do that, you can actually make the image slightly larger. You go into the monitoring menu, and then you go to the monitor output you want to look at, and there you can set the magnification where you can change the size of the image from 100% to 200% and the director can see the image as large as they want to. If you actually go beyond what you're recording, there will be an orange line on the edge, so you know now I'm seeing less than what I'm recording. Yes, there's a new zoom feature. On the viewfinder, you can zoom in to quickly check your focus, and you can zoom out. That is also available on the monitor out now, and in addition to that, you can choose where you zoom in. So, on the monitor, you would designate a user button. I've designated user one button now for my smart zoom. When I push this button, I zoom in. I push this button for a little longer, I zoom out. That's very simple. But when I'm zoomed in, I can also, with a number of short pushes, decide where on the image I actually zoom in. Because a lot of times when you have a shot of a person, you don't want to zoom into the center on their throat. You want to actually see their eyes. So this is another very useful feature. Yes, that's correct. Uh, some, some monitors have a zoom feature, but there all that happens is the HD signal we feed the monitor, you just zoom into this HD signal, so you actually don't see any more resolution. What we're doing is we have the full image on the sensor and we're actually cropping into the sensor and then sending that out on the HD, so that actually allows you to focus much, much better. Yes, we do. Um, anybody who's ever tried to figure out which of the camera outputs any given monitor on the set is connected to, crawled on the floor, tried to follow the cable, will appreciate that. On the monitor now, the monitor output that this monitor is connected to will be brighter. So I'm seeing here monitor one is brighter, so this monitor is connected to the monitor one output of the camera, and I think that'll really help with troubleshooting on the set. We have a new viewfinder called the EVF2. Whenever we talk to cameramen, we ask them, what can we improve about the viewfinder? They say, well, I want to be able to see focus much better. And so this new viewfinder has a number of new features. One, there's a new OLED display in there that's full HD, so we have higher resolution. Number two, it has higher contrast and higher brightness, so that allows you to tell focus much, much easier. But we also have color signs, so what you see is more accurate colors and colors that look more like a Rec. 709 monitor on the set. And we have a new eyepiece. This eyepiece is actually the same optical design as the Arri-Cam, which is the high end of cameras. And so you have less uh, geometric distortion, you have less chromatic aberration on the edges, and you have a larger exit pupil, which means you can move your eye a little more left and right without losing your image. So for the new viewfinder to work, you need to have the software 3.0 update in the camera. Once you have 3.0, the camera works with the old viewfinder as well as with the new viewfinder. So you don't have to get the new viewfinder. My guess is the cameraman will see it, they will want to have the new viewfinder. And in order to make that transition a little easier, if you already have an Alexa LF with the old viewfinder, you can trade in the old viewfinder and then we sell you the new viewfinder for half price. Okay, SUP 3.0 is out already since I think the last five days and the new viewfinder is available as well. Now the one thing you have to know about the SUP 3.0, we're also changing some electronic boards in the camera. So the camera has to be sent into every service to have SUP 3.0 installed. It's not just a software change.